hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about login using next auth.js in our next wordpress headless web app so uh, before starting uh, this feature um, i would suggest that you watch this video from this playlist first and then watch this video because some of the things are dependent on what I did in this video so I would suggest to watch uh, all of this my video so that you know what I am doing in this video otherwise if you know what you are doing or you just want to know how the next auth works with next.js then this video is for you but some of the apis i'll be using for well, for um my wordpress web app so some apis i showed you in my previous video so uh, let's jump into the code so what is next auth dot js so it is an open source authentication solution for the next js app so you can say this is a library which provides ready-made functions and features uh, regarding the authentication so that we don't need to write everything by our own we just need to use their functions and arguments and that's all so that is all about next auth and for the next auth um, we will use credential method so there are too many uh, methods or providers using by using which provider you want to log in your user for example github google linkedin etc so credential is for those uh, who has your own database for users so that they can enter username and password and then check that against that uh, database so as this is the wordpress site and um, we will be using this uh, jwt auth token which requires the username password so we will be using credentials provider that you will learn in the video uh, later in this video so let's begin the coding so i'm gonna go and open my headless wp folder so i'm gonna open this terminal and then i'm gonna start server and pm run dev The server has been started. And here I will open my WordPress backend. However, this is not needed in this video, but I'm just making sure that I have opened everything necessary. So this is what we have built so far and this is the login page. So this is the login page. Yeah, don't go on the design. We are not focusing on the design at the moment. We will be focusing only on the um, feature, how the authentication we can use on our app. So we will be using username password and then we will trigger this api then if we get this token then we will consider that user is login and if we don't get this token or we get any error then we will consider this as the user is not logged in so let's jump into the code so first things first um, I'm gonna open my 
uh, login.pjs so pages login.js so that's that so first we need to install um, next auth package so I'm gonna go ahead over here getting started and I will copy this command npm install next auth so sorry I'm gonna stop the server again and I will install the next auth package so let's wait for the installation and everything in this tutorial is all about following the instruction from this site so you don't need to worry about the flow uh, everything is given here but it's all about you read the documentation properly or not so that's why I'm making the video so if you guys don't want to read any everything you will see in this video okay so package is installed now the next step is now we will create folder so it is all given over here so let's create for folder called pages api and auth so i'm gonna go ahead here inside pages i will create pages api and auth pages is already there so i'm gonna create api and auth and inside that folder add this file like this only uh, bracket dot 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 next dot dot js so I'm gonna create file okay now that's file is created and add this file uh, import this authentication over here so I'm gonna copy this uh, code block and I will add that inside the next auth dot js now uh, we don't need this section so I'll get rid of this and also provider we are not using github provider so provider is for example this was the github provider that means we will be using github as an authentication so if you are logged in using github then you will be considered as logged in on our uh, next.js app so we are not using that so i'm gonna remove that part so providers is currently empty then so uh, here are the providers list of provider and in this we will be using this credentials provider so i will show you that in a bit but before that so once you add this inside the next auth.js we need to make sure something so once you add this uh, as this is the session based solution so we need to make sure that our app reads the session and uh, gets the session on all the pages so for that we have to add a session provider for our whole app so for that we have to add this inside pages slash underscore app dot jsx so open the underscore app dot js under the pages folder and uh, import this line session provider from next auth dot react okay once you add this we have to wrap the uh, our content using this session provider so that all the session is available on every page
closing tag and here you will see that they pass session and they pass session over here like this but we can pass this session like this as well so this page props will always have a session uh, object so once this is done once this is done uh, let me run the sorry about this guys let me run the server and pm run dev and refresh this page it will create nothing because we haven't done anything so far now after this if you remember we kept this providers uh, field empty now it is time to add providers so in our case we will be using credential provider so if you go to this provider section click on credential and add this line to next auth dot js where we are adding credentials provider as a provider then copy this whole section and paste it inside providers and I will explain everything in a bit so let's get rid of this okay so name you can give whatever you want credentials um, this is useful when you will use the next auth default login page but we are not going to use next auth's default login page instead we will be using our own login page so we don't need to add this credentials and we will remove this otherwise if you can see that uh, sorry if you can see that they provided these two fields label is this type is this and they provided placeholder as well but we already created our login form so we don't need to pass this so I'll get rid of this and I will keep this as an empty now this is the main function authorize so in this function you need to add your logic for the login in our case we will be using this API so we will trigger this API in this function so actual login process is going inside this authorized function so here they provided the static one but I will add our own um, our own logic so for that um, first we have to add our constant for JWT endpoints which is this so I will create constant first so I will go on env.local and yeah I already created that constant so if you can see that JWT namespace is this JWT auth so I give this namespace then the version is v1 and then the base is this url so this whole url we took in the base so now we will be using uh, fetch so first let me use 
fetch post request so yeah we have to use fetch method to request the api but um, let me get back to this credential so i went in providers credential but here under the configuration providers go into credentials and yeah so here is the uh, fetch request we, uh, fetch method we have to use to request our endpoint so in our case our endpoint will be this jwt token so i will copy this and use it inside sorry wrong branch we will switch to our branch so yeah this was our initial um initial code without so this is the skeleton kind of thing now we will be adding the actual logic so here we will use our own uh, our own uh, endpoint so we created this um, constant here so we will use this env dot process dot and then then this token so in the base url we have this url and then token and credential we will get uh, from the submit function of the login page so we will keep this as it is i think we we have to add this process dot env okay we have to call this like this okay um okay so yeah in this we have our own api url set and then credential which will be a username and password we will get from the login pages uh, submit function so here in the login page this is the submit function so from here we will get this credential and then we will have the response and now let's check if our response has this token so if user dot token if we have user dot token then return user but there is a catch so by default let me get rid of this so by default auth sends response i mean needs response in this uh, this form only so i will copy this over here i will return i will set const logged in user equals to this and also i will get rid of this id is also not available by default uh, this is uh, 
this is by default set from the next auth but we will be setting our own data as well but first let's make whatever the default is so name is user dot we will set the display name user dot user display name and then user email so email will be user dot user email and then we will return logged in user so if we get token then we will return this object otherwise we will return null we are not doing, doing anything special over here okay now now let's open the terminal and run the run the server npm run dev okay now our let's see if we get any error in console or not okay so everything is uh, ready um, as per logic now um, we need to run a sign in function when we click on login so for that we have to go inside the login.js and here is the on submit function for the login page and we will make a request to our next auth authorize function so for that we have to use sign in function so this function is coming from as you can see next auth uh, package so as soon as i add sign in it adds this line so that we can use sign in function now this accepts two parameters one is the credential type so we are using credentials I mean credential provider so we are using this credential provider so we will be adding credentials and here we will pass username and password so I will set login data and inside the login data sorry why I am setting this I'll share in a bit otherwise we have username and password in this data um, object but we have to pass one more uh, one more argument so first username and username will be in data dot username and password will be in data password and there is one more argument callback URL so this callback URL is for successful login so on which page you want to redirect after a successful login so now I think we are ready to check our um, login functionality so I'm gonna close this 
and uh, let's try to add user admin so this is currently we will be checking the correct credential and then we will handle the incorrect credential so let's add the correct one so if i log in this and if we are successful then yeah it redirect us on the home page that means um, we are logged in so how do we confirm that so um, on our um, let me open our uh, components and header dot js and uh, first uh, let's uh, let's uh, session provider okay yeah in the header now we have to um, we have to import Uh, we have to import this sign in sign up function first so I'm gonna go ahead and I will so there is a sign out method as well out method so if we are login then we have to display um, log out button over here so login is already there and we will first we need to check that we are logged in so how do we check that so for that uh, we have this function called use session from the react now i'm gonna console dot log okay first let's assign this into a variable so i'm gonna say const user data equal to user session this is function from next auth and i will console dot log this user data and i will go to the site and again let's refresh this so if you can see that we have started appearing this object with status authenticated that means we are logged in and here we have our user uh, which is bunty and email is this which is we set in the next auth dot js so name is the display name and email is the user email so this is what we have email and name and it was set through this um, auth jwt auth api so uh, yeah we have this we can check this status so if we have data uh, not empty then we have to display logout button so i will go to header again where we use this use session and i will add condition that if the user data dot data and i will use this as well this is ternary operation user data sorry sorry about this
user data status equals to authenticated then we will display so if authenticated we will display logout button or else login button or link you can say Now if we go here, okay, we have two buttons, Y. So if we are authenticated, then it should display logout button. Otherwise, it should display login button. So let's refresh first. let me get rid of this so it is still uh, displaying login why let's check this okay we are getting undefined oh we are getting this status directly inside the object oh, okay so yeah user data dot status so it should be like this so as you can see now it is displaying logout button now on the logout sorry where is it so i will put this hash link and for logout uh, authentic next auth has this method sign out so what we are going to do is on this uh, link click event on on click on click we will call this method sign out and sign out also accept some arguments so what we are going to do is once user is sign out we want to redirect them to the login page again so again same argument call back url and we will use redirect them to login and that's it now our logout function is ready so if we click on this so user is logout and we see login button here and if we check the console so we get this object and our status is now unauthenticated so now we are successful in logging user into our next app. But uh, we will be using checking the JWT 
token which is this so in the next video we will be verifying that if the uh, if the token is valid then we will keep user logged in otherwise we will redirect always redirect them to login page and also we will be displaying some user info after login and we will be creating a sample user profile page as well so again let's try to confirm login login so we are logged in that's why it is displaying logged out and if we log out and now if we try to use any wrong credentials so it is displaying an error so this is redirecting us to a different page but in the next video we will be handling this on our own login page so this is the video guys this is a bit longer video but yeah this is needs to be understand properly so if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys